Hello, welcome to this again. This video is a bit risky for me to make because last time I made a video about me installing bootleg versions of Windows XP, it bombed so hard, but I'm giving it a shot anyway because I will be making my own bootleg version of Windows XP with Nlight and then installing that on real hardware once it's finished. All right, so we got, you know, welcome to Nlight, yada yada. Let's just do everything. Let's just do everything. All right, all right, we got graphics driver and then like 50 billion audio drivers. Let's see if that works. All right, let's see what kind of garbage we can remove from this. We are going to remove every single app that comes with it other than pinball and screensavers. Screensavers are great. One of these audio drivers better work because I want to hear that epic music. All right, that's all I'm going to remove for now. And then I can add desktop themes automatically. So I'm just like, all right, I got all these four in here. We're going to have the icon size at the 47. We're gonna show the Internet Explorer icon, my computer icon, my documents icon, just all of these. And we're gonna show the Windows version on the desktop. We're gonna not lock the taskbar. We're gonna have a cursor shadow. Pointer trails, we're gonna have long pointer trails. All right, let's start the process. All right, it's finished. We grew by 35 megabytes. Customization finished, heck yeah. All right, I'm at the computer now. Let's get this thing installed and hope it actually works. Spoiler alert, it didn't. All right, cool. It's working this time. And we're copying files, all right. All right, Windows XP Home Edition, we're going good. I know there is a way to change this boot screen because I've done it before. It's just not in the package of, you know. And now we're on the, you know, setup. Other, other version of the setup, so. Oh yeah, that applied too. I forgot about that. All right, yep, here we go. Oh, jeez, the the mouse. Uh, yep, next, Gigatech PC, heck yeah. Just keep it like that, and we continue. I'm curious whether it's actually gonna work or not because of all the drivers I crammed into it. Aw, oh, man, the music don't work. I was really hoping that, it that the music would work. All right, we're here, and it's doing things. And yeah, the taskbar is unlocked. Uh, slight problem. Where is pinball? Where, where is it? Uh-oh. Rover, Rover, you gotta help me. You gotta help me here. It's right here. Where is it? <laughs> I think this is it. <laughs> this is not it. <laughs> Fun stuff. I know I have a disc from the React OS video that only has pinball on it. Where is it? Oh, oh, oh. Pinball! Uh. Alright, let's see if these if the themes worked. All my desktop icons are here at maximum. I've got all my screensavers here. Heck yeah, we got Royal. Which honestly, I think is a really cool theme. I really like this theme. Royal but dark theme, which also looks really nice. Zune style, also another great choice. Media center style, which is also a great theme. Which I think it's just royal. I think royal, yeah, it's just royal, but yeah. Embedded style. That's really cool, actually. Alright, that's pretty much all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. Thank you to my channel members. Serenity Scubbus, GamerFox129, Richard Watterson, Skyblocker, Sola Sippy Cup, Andillo, and I am Maurice. And with that, I'll be seeing you.